Hey fellow foodies, our next date is Alaska, and I'm excited to share with you all on how to make smoked salmon at home. There are lots of ways to make smoked salmon at home. The most common method is either cold smoke or hot smoke. Today, I will use the hot smoke method. First, we need our brine solution of equal parts of salt and sugar. I'm using half a cup of each and one teaspoon of black pepper. Mix that together and then set it aside. There are lots of varieties of salmon such as coho, pink, sockeye, atlantic, norwegian, and others. Today, I'm using wild king salmon and here I'm washing it under cold water and then patting it dry. Make sure to also check for pin bones before you put your brine mixture. Place your salmon on top of a cling wrap and then rub the brine mixture all over the salmon. Be generous with it. Then we're going to seal our salmon, then place it in the fridge. It would also be helpful if you have something to weigh it down. That will help take out more of the excess moisture from the salmon. Then let it sit in the fridge for about 12 to 24 hours. The next day, you will see all the liquid that comes out of your salmon. We will then rinse it well again under cold running water. Then this time, I'm using a clean paper towel to pat our salmon dry. Let it sit under the counter for at least 3 hours to dry it and then it should form a pellicle which is a thin film over the fish. While we are waiting for that, I soak my wood chips in water. I'm using hickory for this recipe. You can also use alder, apple, mesquite or whatever flavor of wood chips you like. Drain your wood chips when you're ready to smoke your fish. I started with some charcoal on my grill and then let it burn until it turns white. In the meantime, I'm placing my fish on top of a foil to make sure it doesn't overcook. Also to make it easier to take out later. Once your fish is ready, I added the wood chips on top of my charcoal. Put the grate back in and lay my fish with the foil on top. The temperature can be about 120 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on how long you smoke it. I let mine smoke for about 3 hours. You will then know when it's done when the thickest part of your fish reads to 145 degrees. You will also see the skin get a little shinier or glisten, and some of the natural oils of the fish will come out as well. This can be eaten straight as it is or serve on top of crackers. But my favorite way is to eat them with bagels just like how you would them with lox, gravlox, or novolox. I hope you get to try this and enjoy this smoked salmon recipe. Let me know in the comments how you like it. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe to my channel, and join me in touring the 50 states. Thanks for watching!